Well, if last week at Hungary was anything to say the least, it was quite the spectacle, uh, so to say, in regards to the racing. We had uh, a returning driver to the podium, um, a, surpri a surprise podium, penalties, mistakes, everything from Hungary. But now we move forward to our next event. We are here at the longest track on the F1 calendar. We are at spa Francorchamps for round 12 of Tier 1 Season 11. Round 12 here in Belgium. Welcome along, everyone watching around. It is Ty Nine Wolf on hand for commentary tonight. And fortunately, I'm by myself. Uh, <laughs> for the, th well, technically for the third week in a row, but uh, Silverstone, I did have some help from Ghost Flame, but he had to leave early. But yeah, I'm here by myself for tonight for tonight's event. So last week <clears throat> in Hungary, uh, Jack Miles won for McLaren. He was the winner in that one. The chiller. Sorry about that. Uh, the chiller wound up getting a podium, just edging out what was then the third place finisher, Owen, but. Owen got a five-second penalty after the race for for ca for causing a collision with Cookie, and that was towards the tail end of the tail end of that race. He got shuffled all the way down to tenth, which promoted TB up into the third place spot in the drivers championship. Leo maintains. Uh, maintains the the driver championship lead, but we do have a new change for second place because of his unfortunate no point score in Hungary. Cookie loses second place in the drivers championship to Jack. Jack is 50 points behind his teammate. Cookie has to sell for third right now. And in the Constructors, McLaren retakes the Constructors' lead, but only just. Three points separates McLaren from Red Bull. And Ferrari and McLaren, and, uh, sorry, Ferrari and Aston Martin are tied for third in the Constructors. We're only in around 12, and we already got some major hype going into this one. So, some big highlights for today um cook as you can see from this field cookie speaking of which not here he was involved in an incident at hungary which resulted in him getting a race ban he is not here anymore two other drivers the williams of kieran and the um was it the hot oh, sauber of slr metal with the exception of f2 they are Banned for the rest of the season for their antics that they have done last week in hun in Hungary. Um, we have some drivers racing in for today. Um, we have some new guys, returns, stuff like that. Um, and this is going to be quite a spectacle to say the least. As cars are coming out onto the circuit now. Just to get a feel for the field here. We got Cam out on track. Um, let's take a look at the field right now. Uh, we do have one car he will that will be joining later on in qualifying, that being Lewis Piper in the Haas. He will be here later. But let's take a look at this field here. So, <clears throat> so we have Cryptic in V Carb to, uh, in the V Carb, Skither, Mercedes, a new guy, uh, driver making his Tier One debut, uh, Steverex. As Cam's just doing some drifting, nice Tokyo drift style. Uh, but yeah, Steve Rex in the V-Carb. Leo Lund making his return back to racing. Missed out a couple of weeks. Egg in Aston Martin. Cam in Kick Sauber. JTK, who I have heard is under the weather tonight. But he is here racing in Haas. Such J on loan to Alpine. Hunted in the other Alpine. Ding, last week's second place runner. 
in the Aston Martin. Lennon, the Tier 3 winner this past Thursday. He's in Williams. Gecko Ferrari. Dom did pretty solid in the feature race earlier in F2. He's in the other Williams. Reese in Red Bull. Red Fire in Mercedes. Uh, filling in uh, for Josh H., who's not here. Korsman. Uh, winner in Silverstone a couple of weeks ago. He's in Kick Sauber. Tadpole Ferrari. TB filling in for Cookie, who, who has his race band to serve in the, uh, the Red Bull. And Jack Miles in the McLaren. And as I said, Lewis Piper in the other Merced in the other Haas will be joining us during qualifying. <clears throat> so here we are at the first Spa Funko Shop. We're on. We're going to be going through some laps here. We are on board with Cam as he's going to be making his way to kick off the first set of this. Of this as he goes down the Kemmel Street. There's some cars ahead. And by the way, if you're noticing this, you see car, you see the ghosting for these cars? Well, that is because for qualifying only tonight, for this, for the first time in a long time, ghosting is on during qualifying well it's basically like no contact or whatever but the reason for it is because at this track the drs and the ers of air advantage it is so overpowered so strong that that the owners and admins were like well it may be a bit of an unfair advantage for some people Maybe we should at maybe we should put in having ghosting on so we don't have that happening. It was put to a vote, and it looks like the ghosting vote was the winner. So that's why these cars are ghosted off. So there's no need to I, I mean there's no need to worry about uh, interference and in qualifying, but still may need to be careful anyways just to be sure. But yeah, I almost forgot Cam is on uh, intermediate tires. So uh, that's why that's why he's doing that. He's just being silly uh, I think our first main one to get a lap done is gonna be Korsman he'll be the first one to set the benchmark 42-1 for the Sauber very good stuff for him especially since he just came off of a recent race win a couple of weeks ago hunted 42-8 for him Skither gonna have to try again 43-3 for him JTK 43-3 as well Next up, uh, well, Switch J, well, he's on a, he's just started his time lap. Let's see, who else is currently out and about? Well, we got Gecko on a lap. Yes, he is on a lap now. So here comes Gecko through Stavolo now to wrap up his lap. And we'll be going on to some more breaking... We'll be going into some rumors and, and things you need to know for the dear viewers here. To hear on some things that have been going on as Gecko goes fastest, 41-7. <clears throat> so in regards to Gecko as TB... Puts its third fastest with a 42-2. <clears throat> so, there has been some rumor and speculation. Jack, 42-3, very nice for him. Uh, let's see, let's go on board with the new guy as he's about to finish his lap. Okay, so there has been some rumors and speculation going around. And this is information that we've been hearing but we cannot confirm or deny it because uh, what we're hearing is rumor and speculation so we don't know if it is true or untrue but this is the rumors that we have been given over the last 48 hours <clears throat> so for one of the main drivers reese uh, as so we'll go to him now as he's working on his outlap so reese Apparently has his back against the wall going into tonight. Now, Reese has had a bit of a roller coaster season, I will admit, for season 12. He's had some podiums, he's had a win, but has been but has been hanging around towards the top 10 for a decent chunk. Well, supposedly the rumor is is that the admins and the owners 
have stepped in and said to Cookie, they basically told Cookie this, either Reese performs really well and does really good, or he is done. Pretty much the rumor is, is that because of the uh, inconsistent finishes and otherwise viewed as air quote poor performances by Reese, Reese has to beat TB in order to maintain staying at Red Bull till the end of the season. If he does not, Reese will be th will be terminated from Red Bull after tonight, and TB will be taking his spot. And that that's just a, that's just a rumor and speculation that I've heard over the course of the past 48 hours. I cannot confirm or deny on if this on if it has some validity or anything. And that also applies to another driver, HSR Gecko. Now supposedly, now supposedly there's also another rumor going around fairly recently that Gecko has been given the same treatment. And that... So, uh, but yeah, so apparently, uh, Gecko is under the same principle as well. But, basically in regards to his performances, he has until Coda to step up. Or else be at risk of losing his seat. Now, those are the two biggest, uh, stories to say to say here um like I said this is just rumors and speculation now, we do not know on if these rumors are going to be confirmed true or if they are not but that is but that is the stuff that we have been hearing over the course of of uh the last 40 hours so anything is possible And it looks like Lewis Piper has come in. So he we have all 20 on the grid here. So let's take a look at drivers that are currently on laps or finishing laps. Uh, let us take a look here as Reese is heading into the pits. Uh, let's see. So Redfire now working on it. Redfire working on his lap at this present time as, by the way, yeah, Corsman improved to second place. I just noticed that, 42-1. Um, <clears throat> as they pointed out, W for Corsman. But let's see how Redfire is going to be handling himself. Uh, finished in third yesterday at Baku for Tier 2. Won the, the Season 14 opener in Bahrain. I mean... Just seeing that kind, of, seeing those types of performances from Redfire, I I'd be thinking like, where where is this perform like for Redfire's performance as he comes across 42-4, not bad for him in fifth place, really solid run. But that leads to speculation for me. I'm thinking like, well, if if Redfire is doing that good, where has that been in tier one? I we he raced uh, quite a bit in tier one, but he hasn't had this kind of stride that he has had in tier two. I think it's nice, honestly. <clears throat> uh, here we go. So next up, Leo Lund. Now next up, this now Leo Lund, one of the prominent favorites. Uh, currently the championship leader as well. Uh, Tadpole, by the way, just slotted himself in a second with a 41-9. Good stuff for him. And here comes Leo coming into the final corner. He's already deployed all the ERS available to him for the lap. But will that affect him in any way? Here he comes across the line. And he's on top. 41-0 for Leo Lund. That is a very strong lap for the McLaren. Leo Lund really showing his stride here as we got about six minutes left in qualifying for Q1 at this point. <laughs> they was like top three for Ferrari Academy until Leo showed up. Yes, indeed. 
That is very true in that regard. Uh, looks like Cam is going to have to try again on a lap. He is invalidated. But let's go on board with Egg here. Now, Egg um, is in Aston today, but was going to be in Williams. I think it's kind of weird, honestly. The fact that Egg started in Ferrari at the start of the season, dropped down to Aston Martin, still showed prominence and good, and good spirits and, and pace, but then drops down to Williams. I, I, I don't even... I just don't understand Egg's mindset here, because I've been pretty... Like, first couple rounds earlier in the season, I was praising on how well Egg has done, and I've been thinking, like, well, can Egg get himself a Tier 1 win? I'm hoping he gets a Tier 1 win, but then he does... Then he does this regression down to Aston and then Williams. I'm like, come on, Egg. Quit teasing. Get, give us a show. We want we want to see you We want to see you on the podium more often. We want you to see you win a race. Yeah, Skither in the Mercedes in tier one again. Nice to see him involved. As Egg now coming across into the bus stop chicane to finish off his lap. And just checking out, just take a look at that handiwork by Egg here as he comes across the line. And he puts it in a 6 with a 42-222. That puts him just a tenth ahead of Jack. Let's go back to some other drivers yet to get some lap ins. Cam, Cam just cannot get a break. In regards to his laps, Lewis Piper on his lap, Reese under the gun, so to speak, in regards to his drive. As he is now entering the bus stop, he has to do really solid in this race or else risk losing that spot. And Norm Reese, the Season 9 champion, he definitely would not want to lose it. And he is going to make that statement. For the time being, he is fourth fastest right now with a 42-117. That puts him nine hundredths clear of TB. But in regards to the pace of the other cars, he is one. He is just a smidge over a second behind Leo Lund. He is four tenths behind Gecko, and only two tenths behind Tadpole. I would say, bear in mind, I think with Tap, with with the Ferraris, though, I mean, the, the Red Bulls do not have the pure straight-line speed that the Ferrari cars have. Ferraris have some really nice straight-line speed, especially on straights um, right around in Sector 3 between the bus stop and Stavolo and also on the Kemmel straight. Those are those are corn those are straights that really favor in Ferrari's liking uh, in regards to their in regards to their straight line speed. Red Bull really does not have that straight line speed advantage as as noted. Um well, here we go. Oh okay, I got my corners mixed up. We're where Reese just came out of, that is Curb Pole Frere. Stavolo was the cur was the cor corner prior, just before the Sector 2-3 split. I am horrible with my corner names, I will admit that. I mean, I easily know of the Hairpin of Bruxelles, Eleven of No Name, and then the, the Puhan Corner, which is where V-Carb is currently going through. That being Steve uh, St uh, Rex. I hope I'm getting that name right. Uh, Steve, Steve Rex or something of the sort. I hope I'm getting his name right. I feel bad if I'm getting it wrong this whole time. But, let's see what he's got. He's come out of Sector 2. Almost 9 tenths faster in Sector 2. That's going to put him right around with the chiller right now in 13th. Let's see what more he can give going through Blanchemont. Now into... The uh, bus stop chicane. Here he comes out of the last couple of corners. Let's see what the new guy has under his belt. Comes across the line. And he just nips Ding for 13th place. 
by only six thousandths of a second. <clears throat> now Ding unfortunately is not gaining any time. This is going to put JTK in the buffer zone of being out of Q1. He is right in the buffer zone at this moment. Uh, Lewis Piper. Wait, why is Lewis Piper in... Why, why Lewis Piper not go out and do a lap? He was on. He was in the field, wasn't he? Anyways, well, here comes. Well, JTK is about to start his final lap. Let's take a look at our next couple of cars. Well, Cam still yet to get a lap, and that he's been plagued with invalidations. But hopefully he's got it this time. Cryptic calls it quits in 17th. He is done. Uh, next up, looks like Hunt is about to come across the line. And he will stay in P11. Next up is, uh, let's see, that's a Williams. That's uh, Dom. Dom comes across. He's, he's in 10th place. 10th for Dom, by the way. That's a very nice run uh, for him. Very good solid stuff for him. Now let's move on to Skither, coming into the bus stop chicane. He is in the bottom five. He has to get himself out of the bottom five. And let's see what he's got. He comes across the line. And it is only 12 fastest, but it is enough for time being. GTK trying to get some stride in. Lennon comes across the line. He improves, but stays uh, basically slowest as Cam has invalidated. So Cam is done. So that leaves, so that leaves GTK. He needs to get about two tenths in order to beat Steverex and get him knocked out of the, out of, um, out of Q1. Can GTK get it done as he comes out of the last, cor as the last corner, couple of corners? Yeah, F in the chat for Cam. Cam just cannot seem to string a lap together. But here comes GTK across the line. Can he get it done? Oh my goodness. That he does. He does just barely 12 thousandths of a second separate GTK and Steverex. So Steverex unfortunately has to settle for 16th. So both V carbs, Lewis Piper, Cam, and Lennon are out of Q1. Well, what lap would have would Cam have set, by the way? 43-6, if it counted. Well, that would have put that would have put him right with Lennon, actually. So he would have been dead last regardless. Damn. Poor Cam. Poor Cam getting to the chiller getting the ding treatment. That sucks there. But Leo Lund on top for Q1, Gecko and Tadpole right behind. We move on into Q2. Alright, so here we are going into queue number two and just seeing the chat just seeing the chat here, Go Lee saying a sour being that high is wild, T is cracked. Well honestly T is quite is quite cracked. He is uh, he has had uh, some really good results, so to speak, for him. He's done really solidly. Uh won in Silverstone a couple of weeks ago. I I mean, it is possible. Maybe, maybe uh, Spa is one of is one of Korsman's favorite tracks. That's that's quite the possibility, to say the least. But uh, here we go. We are ready to kick off for Q2. The question is, who's coming out? Looks like it's going to be an Aston and a Kicksalba. So Korsman and Egg first to come out. And here we go, so... 
So let's take a look. Now, by the way, while we're at it, we do have a couple of contracts that has happened um, over the course of uh, the recent, over the course of Tier 2, from Tier 2 wrapping up to before F2 and Tier 1 today. Uh, we do have two new contracts that we have to take note of. So, Tier 3... They just wrapped up their second race down in their second race of the season in Singapore, but we already have the first movement for season three of Tier Three. That being Mythic. Now Mythic, as you are, as you are aware, uh, raced the inaugural season in McLaren, is currently in this season in Alpine. He now has a new home. That home being. Aston Martin. So, Mythic moving to Aston Martin for Season 3 of Tier 3. Very good, uh, very unique, uh, con very unique set setting for him. Will be quite interesting to say the least. And, uh, and speaking about with Lennon, when I mention about how good Lemon has been, it, uh, Lennon, sorry, uh, why am I saying Lemon? Slip of the tongue. Uh, Lennon, uh, doing pretty good in Tier 3, by the way. Well, next season for Tier 2, which is Tier 2 Season 15, Lennon will be moving to Mercedes for Tier 2. So, this will be interesting. So, so Lennon will be making the transition up, going from Tier 3 Mercedes, where he's been really strong for the first couple rounds. Now, he'll probably bring that, that sentiment and strong pace to Mercedes in Tier 2. I mean, Mercedes in Tier 2, they are currently 2 for 2 for both their cars, getting them on the podium. Red Fire and Vodka were 1 and 2 in Bahrain. And in and in Baku, Vodka was 2nd, Red Fire was 3rd. So we're currently on on board. We have uh, checking out with Egg as he's going through Puhan. Now, now charging into the campus chicane. Nice and easy on that throttle in the fifth gear here. Now getting to sixth gear, low down to four in the Stavolo. Now Paul Frere just flat out in the seventh. Now just straight lining that power. In 8th gear. And these guys can get... Well, without the help of the ERS and tow from other from other people. I mean, these guys can get close to 200 miles an hour if they can. Maybe possibly exceed 200 miles an hour if po if push comes to shove. Corsman sets the bench bar with a 41.8. Let's see how Egg responds. He's about 4 tenths... He's about 3 and a half tenths behind. Next up is going to be Gecko, who responds to Corsman with a 41.7. Tapold's just starting his lap. Uh, TB, unfortunately, invalidated, so he's going to have to try again. Uh, same with... Same applies to Red Fire, unfortunately. It looks like he invalidated as well. Next up across the line is going to be Reese. 42.7, that's the slowest of this group right now. Jack, 42.1 for him. I think I think maybe Reese might have made a mistake somewhere in his run, so me me another lap and try again. He'll he'll do fine on that one. But hunted by the way, 42.9 for him, almost a 43 flat. That's that's an interest that's an interesting lap out of him. He's the slowest right now. Here comes Such J now across the line, and he wow way behind 43.8. Good lord, that's way off. Uh, next up. Let's see who's next up. Well, we got some more cars getting their time, uh, getting their out laps done, so they can start their own time laps. Uh, we got Skither, uh, JTK, Ding, Dom, Tadpole, Leo Lund's on hit is out on the track now. He is on the Camel Street as we speak. Ref Fire and TB. They have to try again for their laps. They invalidated somewhere. And speaking of invalidations, 
The Oruge and Rad Oruge and Radion is an area where invalidations are definitely going to be happening. Um, in the first two corners of Les Combs, that's an area you have to be careful of. Uh, so we go on board with Dom here as Tadpole, fifth fastest. Now, no name, you don't have to worry about it now because he added gravel there. But Puhan, this is an area where you have to be careful, especially during the race. And now coming up to Campus. Now, Campus, you'll be fine in this corner. Maybe fine here, but just watch the exit there. Well, they did have some gravel runoff here. Now, these, these two corners of Stavolo and Paul Freire, you don't have to worry about it because of that runoff. It, the gravel runoff, it did replace the uh, the asphalt runoff from beforehand. Stavolo, uh, not Stavolo, Blanchemont. I mean, it's rare, but just have to be careful, especially during the race if you get forced wide. Bus stop chicane could be an area where you have to be careful too. But here comes Dom across the line now, and he fifth fastest. Woo! That's some strong showing from from the Williams. I love that. Yeah, what a lap by Dom. I agree, invade. That is, I'm impressed by that lap. I'm actually, I'm very impressed. Now here we go, Leo Lund, championship leader. TV's just starting his time lap. Ref fires on his out lap right now. Has. Leo now going into Brooksells. Little lockup going in, going in there. Now to no name. Nice and easy. No dip in the grass there, and the gravel too. Here he comes into Puhan. Just flat out in Puhan. Some of these guys I've seen, you could eat, you just lift off just a little bit going into it, but. But Leo flat out threw it. That shows the confidence in him. Through campus. Now Stavolo. 13-0 after Sector 2. Very, very strong. That's very solid numbers, I believe. But here he comes. Now through to, to Blanchemont. Has ERS nearly gone through. So he has to be careful. Coming into the bus stop. He is gonna have the DR he's probably going to have his ERS all deployed. By, by the time he comes out of the final corner. And here he comes across the line. Deploy use. And Leo Lund. 40.6. We are in the 40s baby. What a lap. What a lap out of Leo Lund. They're 1.1 seconds clear of Gecko. I think this is almost reminiscent to the dominance of Cookie. Now, here comes TB. Responds with a 41.6. That is, right now, exactly one second behind Leo Lund. And he is 1.1 seconds ahead of Reese. Reese is going to have to come back out and try to get another lap in. Ref Fire, currently in 10th right now. With a 42.9. But look at the gap between, between Dom... And Skither, the the gap between seventh to thirteenth, half a second separates that group. So half that group separated by half a second. That is wild. So I think I hate to say it. Uh oh, we just lost Korsman. Um, hope someone can get. Hope someone in the pits can get him back. Uh, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna, well, actually, no one's on the, no one's on the lap, is there? No, well, Egg's on the lap. Or, did he just recently set his? Well, let's take a look. Uh, I was gonna say focus on Egg for right now. Uh, while someone tries to get Korsman in, if he can, they are unable to, I will in a minute. Uh, let's see, well, here comes Egg into campus, into campus now. Now working his way up to Stavolo. Let's see what kind of a gap he's got as he comes through sector two. He's he's faster. Uh, 0.16. That's gonna put him ahead of Jack. 
I was going to put him ahead of Jack. He's looking at a 42-0 at this present moment. Can he get? Can he dip his feet into the 41s? Join that pool that contains Leo, TB, Gecko, and Korsman? Can he join that pool party? There it comes. He comes across the line. Oh, he just misses out. 42-068. Oh, Egg, you just missed out getting into the 41 club. But I think in Q3, I think you'll definitely be joining that fort, that 41 pool party. That's for sure. All right, we're now on with Reese. Let's go on the onboard with him as he works through uh, Les Combs. He's about a quarter of a second up in Sector 1. So that is going to put him ahead of Dom right now. Out of Brooksells. Now to No Name. Just watch that fancy, just fancy handiwork and the fancy footwork of the car. Through, Poo, through Puhan now. Nice flat out, just like how Leo did it. I've dropped to 190 into the campus chicane now. Coming out of there, now to Stavolo. As Reese now comes through sector two, he's over a second up. That's gonna put him in 41.8. That'll put him right ahead of Korsman. Now Reese did get a lot of practice at this track earlier today, over the course of the last couple of days, so I've been told. TB, I mean he's quite experienced because he has numerous leagues under his belt, including RPL. But here comes Reese down and across the line. Can he best his teammate? Oh yes he can. 41-3. That puts him second place right now. What a that was a nice redemption lap by Reese. I think some people would say if Leo was if Leo wasn't here, that 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 means Reese for Q2 is pole position, so to speak. Now it looks like a Ding is uh looks like Ding is uh, currently on a cooldown, or no he no he's on a fast lap. I thought he was on a cooldown. Maybe, maybe the camera was tricking me a bit, but Ding definitely in the bomb fight. He needs to get himself out of it with a minute 40 to go. Can he get it done? And he does, just barely. 42-4 for him. As more drivers are calling it from the session, Gecko fourth, Egg in seventh. Well, let's hope. In Ding's case, can he keep the position as Corsman just having problems? He can't stay connected. Well, we got some more drivers getting out on some laps right now. Let's see, Ref Fire currently it's Stavolo. Saint uh GTK and Campus. They were such such J's right behind Skither. Oh no, Red Fire, I'm sorry. Well, let's take a look, see at some of these drivers some of these drivers. Let's see what we got. Let's go with Hunted. Currently down in twelfth place. He would love to get himself out of the bottom five and into Q3. It'll be the first time in a while he's been in Q3. Reese has called it. He's in second. He is more than safe, that's for sure. <coughs> We got some more guys coming on out. Uh, looks like TB is not is staying in the pits. Same with Korsman. Well, Korsman is yet to get connected back. <clears throat> but here we go. As well, Skither three tenths up. I think we might see an upset. We might see an upset elimination possibly. But check a flag is out. Here comes Hunted out of the lap. The bus stops are came for the final time, and he oh he invalidates. That was costly, and it would have been a 42-6-12. That would put him 11th. He would just miss out. Skither just gets in. Dom falls to 11th. He is in the bottom five. Can he get himself out of it? Here he comes across the line, and Dom does get into it. Eighth place for him. Now, let's take a look. Jack Miles coming across. He stays ninth. 
Now we have GTK, Such J, and Red Fire. Let's see, Red Fire about a tenth up in Sector 1. Three tenths in Sector 2! He's gonna have to pull a phenomenal Sector 3 in order to not... If, if he knocks Skither off, that's gonna be a huge upset. <clears throat> well, let's see what happens as uh, Red Fire coming out of... The bus up to came for the final time. Can he get it? Let's see what he's got. Can he get himself in a Q3? Is it possible? Here he comes across the line. He does! He just nips Skither off! And Such J settles for 13th. Here comes JTK now. And he is now reclaiming 13th. And the biggest upset. Skither out of Q2. That is... I don't even know the last time that's ever happened. But in Q1, it was Leo and the two Ferraris at the end of Q1. This time, it's Leo and the two Red Bulls. Leo, Reese, and TB make it at the top three in Q2. And we say goodbye to Skither, the biggest upset of, the, of this one. Another upset, Ding, last week's second place runner. GTK, feeling under the weather. So it's Jay in the Alpine and Hunted in the Alpine. But like I said, Skither, the biggest upset to be knocked out of Q number two. Missed Q3 by a tenth and a half. And like I said, Ding, also a bit of an upset to be knocked out too. Last week, he finished in second despite having a track limit penalty. But, man, that is a very upset. A very big upset there. <clears throat> uh, is that Salvage's first Q3 of the season? I think it is. I believe so. I believe it is. <clears throat> so, let's... So, here we are for Q3. We have both McLarens of Leo and Jack. Both Ferraris of Gecko and Tadpole. Both Red Bulls of TB and Reese. And then for the Solos, Egg and... Acid Martin, Dom Williams, Red Fire Mercedes, and Korsman in Sauber. So now we have Egg and Korsman going out just like they did in Q2. Now it's time for everyone's favorite predictions. Who is going to be the top three? And what do you think pole time is going to be? Well, I am going to be making my prediction. I will say the pole time is going to be a 40.4, which will be set by Leo Lund. He will be our pole setter, obviously. As for who will be the top three to join up, hmm... I am going to say, it, I mean, it's going to be a tight, it's going to be tight race. It's going to be a tight timing between both Ferraris and both Red Bulls. But I would say second place, I would say Reese will be on the front row with Leo Lund. And for third, and I would say the gap between third and fourth is going to be under eight hundredths of a second. I'm gonna say Gecko will get will just beat TB for third place. But yeah, so I'm going with I'm going with Leo, Reese, and Gecko for the top three, and the poll time of forty point four. But here we go. So let's go on. Let's go with Corsman as he we kick off the benchmark for Q3. Into the source. Nice and easy on the third gear. Now back up to the gears. Has to be careful going up over Rouge and Radion. Nice and, nice and easy on the flicking. Just make sure he doesn't get some understeer on the hill. Now on to DRS. Down the chemical straight. Pouring out that, that speed. 210 into the braking zone of Les Combs. Down through the gears, now back up to the gears, down to fourth, now up to six, 
And now seventh, shifting down to third, into Brooksells. Now through No Name. Easing on the throttle of No Name. Just be careful on the curb. Now into Puhan. And he is still flat out, just having some engine braking helping him. And stays in seventh gear. Some of these guys have opted to shift in eighth gear before going into campus. But now Corsman. Up through the gears into into Stabilo. Ooh, little wiggle of the wheel. Blue Paul Frere. Now back up into the gears. Overtake deploy for the ERS. And he'll be deploying all that ERS available to him. He has not much left in that tank. As he comes into the bus stop chicane for the final for this time. To set the benchmark. And Corsman, what's that benchmark going to be? Deployed use, and is a 42-011. Egg into the 49, into 41-9 for him. Leo Lund just starting his time. Gecko, 41-2 for him. Very good stuff there. Here comes Dom across the line. 42-3 for him. Next up, Reese. And it's going to be a 41-8. Uh, not so bad time there, honestly. Next up is Jack coming out of the bus stop. And Tadpole right behind him. Ref Fire and TB there. Jack 41.6. Tadpole 41.8. Here comes TB. 42.9. Wow. TB made a mistake somewhere. And Ref Fire had to bail to the pits. This might be the only Q3 and RPO this season as a driver in it, either having a pull or a win at some point across her RPO career. Yeah! Actually, now you I'm thinking about it, yes! That is true! And now, here we go, into... into the... the bus stop she came for Leo Lund. Here he comes across the line, and it is going to be... 40.5 for Leo Lund. Seven tenths separates him from Gecko. And slightly faster than his previous his previous run. In Q2. And and you know, I'm just thinking about it. Um now I, I mean I could be wrong. With the exception of Dom I believe with the exception of Dom. Yeah, with the exception of Dom, every driver that's in this Q3 field has been on the Tier 1 podium at least once in their career. We've seen Red Fire do it, TB has won races, Corsman's won races, Egg yet to win, but he has a but he has a couple of podiums to his name. Uh, Reese definitely. Tadpole has a couple of uh, podiums to his name. Same, Jack has some podiums. Uh, Gecko definitely has wins and podiums. Same with Leo as well. But everyone coming back in and just stealing their nerves and getting themselves ready for what will essentially be the last laps. The last running lap for qualifying. Oh, well, we have this break in the action. I will be right back.
Okay. Oh, we are. I am back. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. So here we go into Q. Uh, here we go for TB out and about on his final lap here. So TB on his final out lap of qualifying. He's currently in the bottom of the field with a f basically a 43 flat. I will say that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just had a little interruption. <laughs> oh, stupid controller. <laughs> So let's see what TB is going to be pulling out of his hat in regards to his final flying lap. We got Dom out on the track right now. Uh, Jack just coming out. Korsman, Red Fire on his way out. Well, Red Fire definitely has to come out because he needs to get a lap in to put himself somewhere in this field. We got Action. We got, Fer we got a Ferrari coming out. Uh, that's either Gecko or Tadpole coming out. Probably Tadpole. Is it? Yes, it is. Reese right behind. But here we go. Let's go on board with TB for this final flying lap of his. Up through Rouge and Radion. Gets to 193 coming at the start of the hill. And doesn't lose much speed coming out of the hill. Now just pouring that out the hot lap. Not as fast as Korsman though. 207 into the braking zone at Les Combs. Now out of Les Combs, out of fifth gear. Now going into sixth, seventh gear into Bruxelles. A little lock up into Bruxelles in third gear. Nice rides at the curbs through no name. Ooh, almost dipped the wheel in the gravel there, but keeps it out. In the eighth gear, you don't see that up. Whoa! That was an evil wobble by TB, but oh my goodness, that would have been a catastrophic crash if he lost control of that car. But TB now coming out of Stavolo now. That that little looseness will probably cost him just a little bit. 1.3 seconds up though, so he's looking at a 41.6. That is going to put him in third at the moment. I'm thinking that I'm thinking that evil wobble might have put him may probably cost him maybe a tenth tenth of a second maybe perhaps but here comes TV out of the bus stop chicane what lap is he gonna set in these final 40 seconds it's third fastest 41 six for him now everyone is coming across the line now to start to finish it off to get their last laps going and Egg is going to be the last guy to come across the line, and he will get his get across the line in time. 15 seconds to go. So our first driver to come across the line <clears throat> wants Q to end Q3. The first driver wants to check a flag flies. It is going to be Dom to f to kick it off. He is point almost two tenths up in sector two. It isn't gonna improve. It is gonna improve his time, but it will not improve his place. <clears throat> but Dom, though, I would say, has been a bit of a has been a bit of a solid player in regards to in regards to qualifying, putting that Williams in Q3. Same with Corsman, so to speak. Here comes Dom across the line. He does improve, but he still stays ninth. Next up is gonna be Jack Miles. He's a tenth and a half up in. After Sector 2, here he comes across the line now. He'll probably knock TB off, and he will. 41-4 for him. Next up is Korsman. He comes across the line. He goes fourth fastest. Very nice right for him. Here comes Red Fire Tiger now. Let's see what he's got for his time. And it is, ooh, dead last of that group. That That is not good for him. TB is invalidated, so that is not going to be good for him. Here comes Leo, right behind Tadpole. And Gecko right there in second. Here he comes, Tadpole, out of the final corner. As Reese goes up in the third with a 41-4. Tadpole responds with that. And Leo Lund 
into the pool with a 40.4 for him. Gecko 41.2 and Tadpole 41.3 for him. And look at the gap between second to look at the gap between second to six. Only three tenths of a second separates the second to fifth. it do that he's kicking me out of the party and shit yeah i know i'm sorry <clears throat> i don't know why it just kicks me out of the party for some stupid reason anyway so leo on top uh gecko in second tadpole third reese four and jack in fifth i mean literally two tenths separate separates uh second of fifth right there and and look at the pressure marks there. You have Reese and TB, by the way, only separated by two tenths of a second exactly. Yeah, I don't know why it. I don't know why it does that. Um, let me let me figure out something. Maybe it's possible. Maybe that'll work if it works that way. Oh, <clears throat> well, we just lost. We just lost Cryptic. We just lost Cryptic, so Cryptic is gonna be stuck with uh the with the poor with the poor stop, poor stuff there. So, who knows what uh who knows what tire strat he's gonna? Oh wait, are we restarting? Because we just lost Reese too. Oh yeah, lobby's being restarted. Okay, I didn't know. Okay, lobby's being restarted. Okay, well, let me let me get a screen let me get a screenshot of let me get screenshots of this grid and uh, we'll send that to somebody. Hey, right, heck, if you guys are watching on stream, feel free to get um feel free to get a look. Oh yeah, because of the ghosting, so we're restarting. <laughs> so yeah, so bear with us on this while we're getting... Because like I said, because of the ghosting being on, uh, we are going to be... We're gonna be uh, looking at people for. We'll be waiting for people to get in, and then Jack will be setting up the grid and everything. So while we're while we're waiting, uh, you guys will be checking out, looking at the main menu screen, and basically staring at Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Lewis Hamilton. Okay, actually, I'm just gonna mention this with a with a hairstyle and stuff, hairstyle and a bit of a facial look. For those that have played it, is it just me or does uh or does Max Verstappen's character, uh, player model in game, he looks like a a mustache and bearded version, uh, well, small mustache and small bearded version of Devin Butler from Breaking Point last game. Isn't it just me? He he kind of looks like Devin. He kind of looks like Devin. I mean, heck, I know someone's probably gonna be knowing about it, but basically, if if it's possible, just get just get a, get like a screenshot of Devin Butler's character and just put it side by side to Max. <laughs> That's what it kind of looks like.
Alright, while well, we're waiting for everyone to get themselves in. See, we're missing Skither, Cam, Corsman. Well, there's Cam, anyways. So we just need Skither, Corsman. Skither. Horseman. Okay, there's Cam, let's get her. Okay, I'm asking his car, what's that? Okay, so we need Corsman, Stevia, um, oh yeah, Lewis Piper. Oh, there he is. Alright, so it looks like so we'll be getting ready to fire off into the into the right into the race here. So let's see what we got. So everyone will be getting their time to get we'll be we'll be ready to get themselves to get the setups in, get the strategies ready. Here we go. Let's 
So 22 laps the distance. Uh, how would everyone? So let's ask everyone. Who do you think? Who do you think will come out on top? Who do you think the podium's gonna be? This is uh, this will be quite fun. And um, and maybe as a bit of a bonus question. Uh, how do you think Reese and TB will fare teaming up together for the first time in a long while? Oh. Okay, and uh, I actually just got, I just got a uh, invoice from one of our from one of our owners very quickly from George. Uh, we have a new announcement breaking out. So RPL is going to be creating its own set of sponsored drivers. An exclusive club for only the few fastest drivers in RPL. This is to help with the branding and the exposure of RPL. The very limited with very limited individuals to be announced shortly. That is a that is a monumental that is actually a monumental announcement. Actually, looking for an exclusive club for some fast drivers, looking to be the brand and exposure for the team for the for the league. That is huge. I'm. That is very huge. I love it. <laughs> I, th I say this is actually a good step in a strong direction for RPL. I'm loving that. Woohoo! Well, looks like we're going to be seeing a mixture of strategies by all the drivers here. And we'll be ready to kick it off in the five red lights very shortly. Here we go, the five lights come on to start the Belgian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Good reaction from Leo, and very good reaction from Tampol. Reese getting caught off a little bit. It's Jack going down the inside into the source. Tampol slingshots into the source to take the lead temporarily, but Leo responds, trying to get it back as they go up to, to Radion and O'Rouge for the first time. Tampol has to back off behind Leo as the car is flying over the top of the hill and all falling into formation. We got... We got cars all over the place here as Leo on the attack again from Tampol. Tampol takes the lead into the second, into Les Combs. Very good style from Tampol. Nice reaction out of it in a turn one. I think he definitely caught Leo by surprise there. We're on board with the newcomer St Steve Rex as he is right in the middle of the field in the in 11th, it looks like TB has been caught off very horribly. He's down in 19th. What the heck happened to TB? What the world happened to you, buddy? TB, how'd you get all the way down there? My goodness, boyo. How'd you get down there? But Tadpole pulling away from Leo very a very good start and a very good run in the last combs from him and reese right now right behind right behind jack trying to put make some ground red fire overtaking dom for the ninth place spot for mercedes and let's take a look at the tires here that everyone is going with we have dom and steve rex on the on the sock compound and steve rex by the way just gets past, uh, oh wait, did we lose Dom? Did we lose Dom? Or is he just, nope, never mind, he's, he's fine. I thought we did lose, I thought we did lose Dom, but no, we're okay. But TB coming out as a big, big loser here. But yeah, Dom and Steve Rex in on the soft compound tire. TB, Skither, 
Korsman, Reese, and Leo on the hard compound tire. And everyone else is on the medium. So speaking of these hard runners, Hunted passing Skither and and Dom and Steve Rex again to 10th and 11th. Korsman, by the way, just cleared Egg to get himself into ninth in the sixth place. Let's take a look at the at the biggest uh, biggest winners and losers here at this moment. The biggest gainer is uh, Hunted with five places gained. Ding, Steve Rex, and Cryptic right behind with four. And the two and the two biggest losers is JTK losing six spots and TB losing nine. There is the there is the boards all together there and speaking of, and back towards the front by the way, Jack chasing down Gecko, Leo chasing down Tadpole, two McLarens chasing down two Ferraris. On board with Jack, but and by the way, just seeing it in our background here. Just seeing it in the background here, by the way. Egg uh, was about to be challenged by his teammate of the chill of Ding. But here we go as uh, Dom and Switch J switching positions into the bus stop. There they are, right in the background. Oh, TB just got sent wide because of that little scrap. Red Fire claims the fastest lap of the race. No action toward no action at the front of the field at this present time, but TB got shimmy down after after Such J and Dom came together and TB lost some more spots and TB 10 second penalty for corner cut and then gaining a place. He did go wide and he overtook Dom. That's why he got the thing saying, you better get the place back or you get penalized. And he did get that. So that is really going to suck for TV now because when he comes into the pits, he has to serve that 10 second penalty. Well, and, and he gets a three second warning for his troubles. Man, TV just had this. That race just went from shit to shittier for him. I mean, you got to you got to feel for him, honestly. <clears throat> But Jack still in pursuit of of Gecko at this present moment. A little bit further back. Korsman under threat from Egg. Egg really putting on that pressure and that ferocity into into effect. A little further back, the uh, the V carves of Steve Rex and Cryptic right behind each other. That's for the 12th place position. Uh, meanwhile, Korsman holding Egg back, but. Horseman just destroying that ERS deployment. Cryptic overtakes his teammate. Cryptic in the 12th. And also a little further back, by the way, uh, as Leo did take the lead and gets the lead back. Very good. Very good there. I think he got it into the bus stop chicane. I just caught it in the foreground there, by the way. And Dom speeding into pits. He is done and out of the event. That really sucks. But meanwhile, side by side, you gotta be kidding me! Side by side, a barouche. <laughs> Egg takes full advantage, saying, "Yep, that's mine. I take that spot now." And and we got more positions being switched. Uh, this time, Reese overtaking Jack. And Reese overtaking Jack for fourth. Ding overtaking Egg. Ref uh, of course, man, actually lost a lot of spots. He was in sixth, now down to ninth. He lost it to both Astons and the and the Mercedes of Red Fire. I mean, I mean, what a wild one there. I mean, an egg lose an egg loses the spot to his teammate Ding. Ding now gonna be pushing forward to chase down the front five. But what a move by Egg, by the way. Down going up the hill of Rat of a Rouge. What a wild. What a wild rate, what a wild, wild first few laps. Ugh, I cannot speak. And with get and with it and with uh, Leo Lund taking the lead over Gecko, unfortunately, Gecko is now out of DRS range against Leo at this moment. But he is climbing back, but he's pouring ERS to try to keep up with him. Now he will have he will have DRS available to him out of out of the bus stop chicane jack by the way waiting to pounce to on his team on gecko's teammate tadpole here comes red fire 
Uh, under threat against Kordsman in the background, but no dice. And, ooh, Kordsman with a little snap slide. But keeps it in. TB just clearing past Steve Rex to get himself in the 14th. But looks like Steve Rex is looking to fight back, possibly. The newcomer fighting against the faster car. And Steve Rex does get himself into the penalty box. Jack overtakes Tadpole. Egg switches with Ding. Korsman overtaking Red Fire. Lewis Piper over Cryptic. So many fights, it's so hard to track keep track of it all. Red Fire, the first board, the first man in the points to get himself into the penalty club. It looks like Such J had a problem. He lost multiple spots down in 18th place at this moment. And now falls even further. Whoa, what the heck? And we have a safety car from Such J and Cam. They crashed in Bruxelles. And, well, Such J retired on track. And Cam is got no wing. Well, if I was TB, if you want to get rid of that 10 second penalty now, you can pit now if you want to. Um, now with Steve Rex, he could pit and get off of those sauce and get himself onto the hard compound tires and he'll be fine for the rest of the race. But a mediums, I mean, they could go for hards if they want. They could go to hards if they chance it and be fine for the rest of the race. But for the hard compound guys, is it worth risking it? Well, to Leo, it's worth a gamble for it. We are going to have some double stacking here between McLaren and between McLaren and Ferrari. Everyone's coming in. We're gonna have another double stack with um, with the Astons. But let's see how this will affect these drivers. As they come on in, everyone piling into the pits. And it looks like it'll be, and crazily, crazily, Lennon, has opted to stay out. I'm make sure I'm still connected to the party, but yeah, Lennon has opted to stay out on the track. And Leo Lund does still maintain the lead, but Lennon inherits second place for now. Gecko in third, Reese in four, Egg down in five, Jack fell to six, Tadpole down in seventh, Ding. But yeah, some of the double stackers. Jack fell start came in in fourth, is out in sixth. Tadpole was third. He's down in a seventh. Ding was right behind Egg in seventh. Now up into uh, now up into Ninth place. Uh, let's see, was there another one affected by the double stack? I believe it was Skither. Um, oh yeah, Ding just felt it was in tenth actually. I think he accidentally overtook a uh, hunted under the safety car, but then gave the place back. Um, but yeah, now everyone is into the pits, so we do lose. So we have lost. TV thinks Dom should get a season ban. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, okay. So I got just got some more additional information while we're under the safety car. So at the start, um, I, we made that announcement about the about the set of sponsored drivers. We do have some additional info coming into us. <clears throat> And here it is. So to select few drivers to represent the league for the club, one requisite is that they are, if they are selected, they will have to change their gamer tag to basically being uh, RPL and then their name. So like, let's say if Cookie has uh, Cookie was chosen, his he will have to change his gamer tag to RPL Cookie. And in their and in their bio, they have to write down as they are an RPL sponsored driver. The idea is to spread awareness amongst the best drivers on the game of the league and in return they'll be added to a highly exclusive chat where they'll be allowed to vote and make decisions revolving around the league. 
other benefits to be announced in due time. So, yeah, so as, as uh, Vate said, RPL sponsored, dang, yeah. So, like, in, like for you, like, if we had to use you, for example, if you got, if you got picked, you can't be RSF1 Invade anymore. You have to be RPL Invade. <laughs> Um, let me double check on that. Um, that is a good question. Does it apply to all tiers? RPL Minico goes crazy. <laughs> love, love that input, buddy. Um, so, so Lennon, to answer your question across all tiers, no, the ants, uh, it is basically going to be the best of the best. That's basically how it is. So, mainly guys, probably like, like Leo Lund, uh, Cookie, Reese, um, but yeah, only the best of the top tier one drivers. So, like, Leo, Reese, Cookie, Gecko, they'll probably be on that. Project Lemon goes hard. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, so the safety car is coming in this time. Leo Lund in the lead. Let's see how Lennon responds to Leo's pull away. And off he goes. Just before the bus stop. I would have waited until just at the bus stop to gun it. But we are back underway, and Lennon actually responds decently well. But coming out, of, coming out of the bus stop, fell apart a little bit. But here we go, a uh, bit for the back. Looks like Red Fire and Cryptic overtake, uh, get the overtake. Looks like Red Fire caught Cryptic napping a little bit, so to speak. There, let's go back towards the front. Gecko in pursuit of Lennon. Reese right behind him. Egg in fifth. Tapple, uh, that's Tapple, Jack and Six, woo, Reese thinking about sneaking a peek on both of them, but Gecko takes Lennon in the turn number, in the turn number five, and Reese sneaks, snugs his way through and in the third. And that was just a wild one there, and Egg moves out of the way for Egg, uh, Egg moves out of the way from Lennon, Lennon Falls to fifth. Now is going to be an annoyance to Jack right behind him in six. Corsman right behind. Lennon playing the academy role of being of being a roadblock in the way of the other drivers. But Jack now trying to go around the outside. Little scrape over by Lennon. Corsman trying to take advantage, but Lennon still still maintaining the gap ahead of of Jack. As Egg now pulling away from uh, pulling away from the field, now trying to hunt down. But here comes Jack and Corsman down into fifth and sixth. Lennon falls down to seventh. Here comes Tadpole now, right behind on the outside. Is he gonna get more than one? He's gonna go for it, maybe. No, he goes after Lennon. Ooh, saves it nice and easy. He is up and ahead in the seventh place now. Hunted now next up. He is in the penalty box. For a track limit penalty, now is next up to go against to go against uh, Lennon. Ooh, almost went to the back of him. That would have been bad if that happened. But DRS is now enabled. Let's go towards the front. Reese trying to hunt Gecko down. Leo Lund, 2.2 seconds ahead of second place. Now Reese chasing down Gecko. Slingshots by. Leaves nothing to snuff. Reese up in a second, and in the background, Corsman overtaking Jack into fifth place. 
and Lennon plummeting even further down. Now down into 11th. Let's hunt it. Red fire and ding through. Now, I hate to say it, but uh, Red fire on the saw compound tires, I think this is a, a bit of a risk on Red fire's part. He's going to have to hope for another safety car to happen some point later on in the race because Bill Sauce ain't going to last for Jack. Um, they'll, they'll fall apart super quick. Where's the Leo Lund bounty hunter? <laughs> wow. Now you know how I felt when Luke was winning all the time in Season 4. And I'm talking about one of my own drivers. You know about one of my own drivers, Jack. I'm um, pulling him, trying to chase Korsman down. Meanwhile, for the back, I see Ding looking to sneak a move on... on, uh... On hunted and they're now looking to find himself into the points but just can't get it done ding stays ahead in 10th it's now Skinner trying to pour that overtake try to get past try to get past the Academy teammate of ding ding lets him by and Skinner is up into 10th place now has to hunt the hunted <laughs> god that was stupid that was stupid and corny of me meanwhile further up here comes uh, Korsman hunting egg down. I mean, Korsman, how would you like your eggs? Do you like a sunny side up? Like them fried? He's up in the fourth. I mean, what a I can I just gotta say a stellar. This Korsman is on a really stellar performance. I will not lie. I think Korsman is really shining as basically the MVP of this session so far. Oh, into the gravel. That might hurt him just a tiny bit. But he, but Korsman is now into the fourth place. Trying to try to pull the gap to try to catch up to Gecko. Hopefully try to get some breathing room against Egg here. Meanwhile, further back, by the way, TB. Down in 12th place. Had to serve that 10 second penalty he got for that corner cut. After the incident between Dom and Such G, uh, Such J earlier on but he also has that three second penalty as well that's gonna hurt him a little bit too once he gets himself into the points meanwhile looks like skither uh eyeing up red fire now, these two are teammates but red now red fire a driver in tier two jacko oh my god jacko into the penalty box in the bus stop now that's gonna chase the podium up are we going to see a Sauber podium? Um, okay, Cyril, since you are back in it, since you are back in and uh, you always check through the stats and everything, can you do me a solid? Can you, take, can you check and see when the last time Sauber had a podium in Tier 1? 55 races, thank you. But yeah, here comes Red Fire down the inside against Tadpole. Those sauce really coming into play. Here comes Skither is looking to sneak a peek as well. Can't get it done. Red Fire up in the seventh now. Now looking to chase down uh, Jack for for the position. Here comes Skither down the inside. Ooh, yeah. What? He's just trying, but he just can't get it done. Just executed just enough. But looks like he might have a better exit going into Puhan, but changes his mind. Well, for the back, GTK and Stiverex change in no name. That's for 15th. Well, looks like these two are not done yet. GTK and Stiverex switch again and coming into coming into campus chicane. Go back towards the front. Egg trying to chase Korsman down. Ready yet? Ready yet, Titan? Sauber has only had one podium in the last 180 to 185 RPO on one race. Good God. Jeez, that's a long time, honestly. But here we go. Egg trying to trying to catch up to Korsman. To try to make a mistake. Oh, Korsman might have made a mistake going a little wide out of out of the source, but I think I couldn't stamp on the pedal enough to 
take advantage of it. But here we go. DRS now will be enabled in play. Let's see how Jack responds to where Egg is going to go. Here comes Egg on the outside. Jack following through. Is Jack going to switch over and try to take the spot? Nope, not close enough. Can't seem to get it done at this moment. Uh, the Mercedes Paris switch. Skither in ahead of Red Fire. And TB has now entered the points. Overtaking Ding. Oh! Uh, Red Fire got a little... Got a little too ambitious on the attack in Brooksells. Lost out on... Lost out on trying to regain the spot back from Skither for 7th. Catching that on TB's on board. <clears throat> Trying to make sure I'm still connected in the party. <laughs> but Tadpole now, all the way down in ninth with TB. Now Tadpole, by the way, started this race in in a f third place. And he's lost a lot of spots. He's now six lost uh, six spots. TB has lost a few spots as well. There's your penalties right there. Gecko, Red Fire, TB, Ding, and Steverex in the pen with penalties to their name. Let's take a look at the gaps to the leaders. So, so leaders, Leo Lun, 5.8 seconds as Tadpole down the inside. No, TB down the inside on Tadpole. TB trying to, Tadpole trying to fight back, but backs off just enough. He's going to wait until the DRS comes into play. Oh my goodness, he is glued to that butt right there. Egg just catching in the background over there. Egg losing fourth to Jack. But Tadpole just can't seem to get close enough to... Get past TB holds him off, but Tadpole's like, yeah, okay, I see ya, but you have a penalty, I don't. Well, wait till then. TB has done two stops, by the way. Just to note this, he did pit. I think he did. He pit twice. I'm not. Maybe he got put on the wrong tires by accident, perhaps. Uh, who knows? But anyways, TB down there, and oh, Risa spun out. You gotta be kidding me! Risa spun out in Stavolo. What the heck happened to Reese? Oh my God, that is not good. That is not good for Reese. He he is. He was at the pressure. He was under pressure to losing, to possibly losing a spot, and that is really going to cost him. He does have damage. Oh, no. I think when he spun out, he must have clipped the wall just not, but Reese just got caught off, and that, it, that could seal his fate. And TB is up into ten, in eighth place. But... Bear in mind, though, TB still has the penalty, though. With that penalty, if that penalty is carried over, Reese will overtake. We'll take the lead. We'll take the position back ahead of TB. Meanwhile, Corsman overtaking Egg for fourth place. TB overtaking Red Fire for seventh. Reese, if I was you, I would just just pray for an absolute freaking miracle right now. Yeah, T yeah, Reese is, really has the pace, but unfortunately, but unfortunately, Minico, you can't deny that he has the pace. Yeah, he has the pace, but the problem is, the rule is per the admins and owners, because they force Cookie into saying it, Reese must finish ahead of TV. If he does not, Reese is done from Red Bull. back into the gaps here but you know take a look at the leader things right now Reese 15 9 behind the leader and he's just about to lose out on the position from Re from from TB it's because of the damage the damage is really gonna kill him and you gotta feel bad for you gotta feel bad for Reese he was doing so solid all race long 
hanging in that hanging around in the top three and then it just all went to hell in Stavolo. If I had to guess, he probably got he probably got a little too much he either got a little too much of the outer curve going into Stavolo or caught or caught a bit of the gravel and grass at the exit of Stavolo. That's probably what happened. Yeah, Korsman is looking at a net podium at the moment, but Egg challenging it back to get himself in the fourth. He has that spot. But the more but the more Egg and Korsman fight, the more it will benefit Gecko at this moment. Reese is up into eleventh now. He overtook uh, hunted to get himself into 11th. He just needs another spot to get ahead and get himself back into the points. But he needs a damn miracle to in order to beat TB. Meanwhile, towards the a little towards the front, by the way, Jack chasing Gecko down. This is for this is for the second step on the podium. Jack will have it because of Gecko's penalty, but he'd be like, oh, I want to do it on track, not have it handed to me by a penalty. I want I want to help with a McLaren 1-2. And that's that's what we're looking at, perhaps. A McLaren 1-2. TB, by the way, chasing Skither down for the sixth place spot. And Reese does overtake Red Fire in into back into the points. But, however, the gap, TB, 12.8, Reese, 16.6. So, Reese needs to gain at least a second in order to overtake TB and reclaim beating the spot. And it looks like we got a problem in Paul Frere. That is Cam around in Paul Frere. Now, Cam has not had a good time either. He, he wanted to get involved in that accident with such J. Here comes Jack down on the outside of Gecko. Does overtake, gets it done. He is ahead. And TB and Coors. And oh, baby, look at this. Skither gave past both Coorsman and Egg to get himself in the fifth. And TB stuck behind Egg. Doesn't want to stay behind him for long. Here he goes on the inside. Now the outside. And Egg still fighting it back. He's not willing to give it up. A little, little kiss of the gravel for TB. Now in the Puhan. Ooh, little tap. And TB, a second warning. A second penalty. That is going to help Reese out. Reese is going to have to get past... Uh, he's going to have to get past Red Fire. And really put some power down to stay within the gap. gotta be kidding me and as I just say it Reese gets himself into the penalty box out of Stavolo out of Paul, Paul Fleur actually but Reese does get the 10th place spot back but now it's now back to being three second to being over three seconds behind TB if Reese did not if Reese did not get that penalty he would definitely overtake TB right now there's a gap for the leader. TB, 13.8. Reese, five seconds behind exact. <laughs> Meanwhile, towards the front, here comes Gecko attacking back on the inside against, against uh, Jack. He gets the place back. TB, here comes Korsman involved to say hello and up in a six for him. Looks like more battles behind. We have Lewis Piper losing two spots to Steve Rex and Cryptic. One Haas being overtaken by two V Carbs. Back focus now onto Egg now. Trying to chase Korsman down for the sixth place spot, which would be net P5. Oh, jeez, Egg. Egg into the penalty box. Now that will help. That will help Tadpole out because at the moment, Korsman will be taking fifth from TB. Tadpole will be going to the sixth. TB will fall to seventh and Egg will fall to eighth. Oh, 
Wow, let's go on board with Tadpole. Look at that. Jeez, he is just... He's just getting a sniff of that exhaust from the acid mine. Oh! I think that was a bit expected, but Egg collides with Korsman, and around goes Korsman. That is not going to be good. I think Egg may see the steward's office for that, for causing a collision to Korsman. And, and, um... I'm not sure what Egg just did there. Was he playing some DRS games with uh, Tadpole? I don't know, but it did cost him because Ding got past him. Jack, by the way, re-overtakes Gecko for the second place spot. Meanwhile, TB trying to chase Skither down for what is fourth place, but fourth will still remain in Skither's hands. And here we go. Is Red Fire now in again another penalty for Red Fire? That's the second trap. That's the second penalty for Red Fire. There's your penalties right there, by the way. Taking a look here, and here's your gaps for the leaders right now. So TB will be falling. Will be losing uh, fifth place to Tadpole. Uh, Korsman will jump into sixth place, and Ding will take will take seventh. TB will fall all the way down will fall down to 8th place. And of course, man, yeah, of course, man, not, I don't think Korsman was happy, I don't think Korsman will be happy about that, honestly. But, uh, Leo, by the way, over 10 seconds ahead of his own teammate right now. I think this is going to be the second time we're going to have a a tier one, a tier one gap between first and second being over 10 seconds. Let me just take a quick little peek here, while these while these guys are really fighting it off here. And here we go, as we're on board with Ding, as he's chasing, chasing Gecko. By the way, overtakes Jack. TB gets Skither. What a run there, and yeah, this is going to be the second time because on our official marks, uh, Leo Lund got it in Australia, uh, winning by 13 seconds over Gecko. That's who he got the win over by. <clears throat> Jack really trying his best and trying his best. He wants to get past, uh, really wants to get past Gecko at this moment. <coughs> Just making a McLaren 1 2, which will be very nice because Leo Lund does have the fastest lap as well. So Leo Lund is going to extend his championship lead, this time being over Jack. And that championship lead will go from 50 points. To uh, well, essentially uh, 58, and and uh, McLaren's lead, constructors' lead, will also increase as well. By how much? Eh, who knows? It's possible. Who knows how much? <laughs> okay, I'm still in the party. Thank God. I don't want to get booted out again. I hate getting booted out. It looks like, oh, Red Fire, Red Fire's in the pits. Oh, he's gotten off of those softs. Well, at least since he's out of, out of there, he'll get himself, go for a fastest lap, perhaps. But Jack overtakes uh, Cook Gecko to get himself in the second. Skither re-overtakes TB to get himself in the fourth. And with only three laps to go, anything can happen. That's, oh, Korsman in a penalty box. Wow! This is gonna change. This is gonna change everything. Let's take a look here. So, well, looking at it right now, uh, looks like so. Tapple is gonna get. Tapple is gonna get TB. Ding's gonna get TB. Egg needs to get at least another four or five tenths in order to take TB on his end too. 
Ooh, Temple goes wide out of out of campus. Yeah, speaking of which, I almost forgot. Gecko does have his penalty. He is... He has a 3.8 second gap over Skither, so Skither will be missing out on a podium at this present moment. And Camp into the penalty box again. I think that's his third one of the event. We got Tadpole stu stuck as the filling in an Aston Martin sandwich. I mean, who would want to eat that kind of sandwich with that? With that, I mean, you got the Aston's, they kind of look like moldy bread, and who knows what kind of what kind of meat the Ferrari's gonna be. But Tadpole really under some pressure here. He needs to get his, he needs to get himself ahead of both of these guys. He needs to get himself ahead of Ding. With only two to go now, and Tadpole across and gets it done. TB gets Skither again, and this is and. Speaking of which, with TB battling with Skither, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt Skither's chances to go for a podium, because now he's losing more time to Gecko. Yeah, Vade, I do agree with you, but Bear, I do agree. I do agree with you. Um. Yeah, TB does have six seconds of penalties on him, so he does he doesn't really need to fight with Ding with Ding and Ding and Egg, but he just has to be careful not to fall too far back. But I mean, currently, I mean, up until that collision, Corsman was looking to be an MVP of the event. Um. But, I mean, there's also got to be a heartbreak of the race. The heart, the biggest heartbreak of the race has to be Reese, unfortunately. He was really, he was running very strong during the event. What the heck happened here? Uh, well, Steve Rex is around and has no wing. But we're on the final lap. And Leo Lund having a commanding lead over his teammate of Jack. Meanwhile, looks like Gecko. Ooh, Gecko got loose out of there, and Gecko will will overtake Jack to get himself into second. T Skither will take TB. Now let's see how Tapple is gonna fare against the two Astons. Here comes Ding down the inside, and he does get it, but Ding really needs to put some power down in order to make in order to in order to do something, but he'll have to sell for seventh, honestly. But he's doing really solid for the for the sake of it. And by the way, Reese just lost the tent, the last point spot to Hunted. Oh man, that's gonna be an even nastier heartbreak for Reese to lose out to lose out on a on a fight for good points, and then to lose out on a point itself. That's going to be very heartbreaking, but in a commanding lead, even with a safety car involved and handling against the Ferrari pressure, in a dominating fashion, coming out of the final corner, Leo Lund will win in Belgium. Solid work for him, but it's still a fight between Gecko and Jack, even despite Gecko's penalty. Jack will come across the line to make it a McLaren 1-2. And Gecko will be in third. Skither will come across the line in fourth. TB crosses in fifth, but let's see where he falls down to. He will fall down to sixth place. Ding just misses out by 27 thousandths of a second. Egg in, Egg in eighth, Korsman nine, and Hunted will take the final point spot. Heartbreak for Reese down in 11th. Man. That is just very awful. But, unfortunately, that is going to spell the end. That's going to spell the end for Reese. I mean, he was running in the top four for over half the event. And then, and just that, just that last, just that event. Man, oh man, that just sucks.
I mean, he was running at the top five the entire time, and then a costly mistake just costed it over. That just sucks for 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 Reese. Man, but yeah, Gecko, fair play to him. Here's the podium celebrations. A McLaren one two, Leo Lund and Jack on top. With Cookie, well not Cookie, uh, with Gecko in third place. Wow. And the submission is open. Closing at 10 uh, GMT tomorrow. So there's the podium celebration. And here is your results here. Leo Lund on top, Jack second, Gecko third, Skither four, Taphole five, TB six, Ding seven, Egg in eight, Corsman nine, Hunted ten, Reese Heartbreak dead eleventh uh, place, Lewis Piper twelfth, Cryptic thirteenth, JTK fourteenth, Redfire fifteenth, Lennon sixteenth, Steverex in seventeenth, Cam lap down eighteenth, and our two DNFs. Dom and such J. As who I think is going to be given driver of the day in hindsight. Um, I would say, I would say Gecko, not, not Gecko, uh, Skither, a very, very good contender for a driver of the day. Um, he started, he got knocked out in Q2 and made it all the way up to getting himself into, into the fourth, into the fifth place spot. Very solid work for him. It was a very good effort for him, honestly. Uh, Korsman, um, mainly on the qualifying pace. He was very he was very stellar in all qualifying and very solid throughout the race. That collision with Egg, that would be... That uh, did hurt him a little bit, but he is another contender as well. And... As said, the heartbreak of the race would have to be Reese. He was running very solidly in the top five all for over half the race. And then that mistake in Stavolo costed him with damage and he is and he lost this and he lost out on points. Um but yeah, that was very sad, honestly. And also, and also, um, <clears throat> and also Gecko really putting a stride in. Despite that penalty, he would have had second, but lost out with the penalty. But he still held on very strong and did very well there. But, yeah, that's just going to suck, honestly. Well, that is going to conclude the stream for tonight. Um... So let's take a look at the racing that we got for for uh, this upcoming week. So kicking it off for Thursday, um, the Tier 3 drivers will be racing around the LaSalle circuit in Qatar. Hopefully, hopefully the... Uh, Hopefully the track is not as fuel consumption hungry as it was in last game. Uh, tier 2 will be racing around uh, Zandvoort in the Netherlands. That is coming up on Friday. F2 next uh, next Saturday will be having a race at, Mo at Canada at Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. And speaking of Zandvoort... Tier 2 is going to be at Zanvort for Friday. Next Saturday, Tier 1 will be at Zanvort as well. well that, is, that is all that needs to be said on, on that. Uh, let me just take a peek at one last thing. Yep, okay, just take a look at one quick thing. But yeah, um, as said earlier, that big announcement of RPL, of RPL being... Uh, having sponsored drivers, stay tuned. Stay tuned while while the drivers will be announced in due time. Once we have those drivers announced, once those drivers become announced, stay tuned to our. Ah, oh, crap. 
stay tuned to our RPL XN Instagrams where we'll be announcing that as well. But yeah, that will be very fun. I can't wait for that. This that will be awesome, honestly. So from RPL Streams, Tiny Nine Wolf signing off. Good night. See you later.